Are you looking for some awesome effects? Get access to thousands of exclusive premium effects, free effects as well, with their super affordable pro memberships. Click the link in the description. What's up guys, these are the most easy edit styles in Vegas Pro 16. Hello, I'm Gary Rebholtz, and I'm proud to introduce Vegas Pro 16. Over the past two years, we've made significant changes to Vegas Pro, and with version 16, we implement some of the features that you've told us that are most important to you. Motion tracking, along with flexible masking tool, so that for the first time, masking out a moving object or applying a video filter to obscure a moving face is easy to do right inside Vegas. What's happening guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial. It is Monday, it means a brand new video for you guys. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna cover the most requested topic ever, and that is the automatic motion tracking feature in Vegas Pro 16. We're gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna stand right here, and I'm going to lift up my hand, and we're gonna blur my hand with this automatic feature. So, I'm going to just do this and as you can see right now my hand is now blurred and if I move my hand around I don't have to do that frame by frame Vegas Pro is just automatically doing that and that's a really awesome feature that Vegas Pro is now having and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how that works how to motion track I have two clips that I'm gonna show you guys how to make the automatic motion tracking happen so the first clip is basically this driving car, as you can see. And what we're going to do is really simple, is we're going to make the headlights, well, one of them, we're going to make them shine really bright, make that light a lot brighter. So we're going to start off with the first thing. So in previous versions, when you didn't have this feature, you had to manually do everything frame by frame. That's a really great thing that they just added this feature. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to make sure that we will duplicate this clip so that we have two clips of the same one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mute the lower one and then we're going to go to the video effects tab and then we're going to pick obviously the new feature which is Beezer masking. Now we want to go ahead and pick for example this one or the circular one. You can just pick any shape that you like. We're going to just pick this circle and we're going to drag that on top of the top one. Now, as you can see, this is pretty new. You want to make sure that you will mask out the thing that you want to have motion tracked. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to place our square around this light. And then what you want to do, I'm just going to make this a little bit thinner. Then this menu is pretty new. So right here you have the general options. That's like you can choose the blend and everything. You want to keep that on zero. And then you want to click on mask one. And the really cool thing is that you can obviously, you know, choose like the feather type and everything like that. And then we're going to click on tracking. Now, as you can see right here, it says start. And that means that this plugin is going to track the entire object that you have selected through the entire clip. If I click on start, as you can see, it is adding keyframes really, really, really fast. And that is the automatic motion tracking. Now, if that is done, it will take a few seconds. Do you see all those keyframes at the bottom? You have to imagine that without this function, you have to place all these keyframes one by one. That's just gonna take such a long time. So this is very, very time saving. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower the opacity of the lower clip. And now we're gonna add some brightness and contrast to it so we can actually make that light light up quite a bit. So I'm gonna go to the brightness and contrast. Let's see where it is. Here it is. I'm gonna pick the default one, drag it on top of the top one. We're gonna bring up the contrast and the brightness quite a bit as you can see like that. So if I bring up the contrast as well, this is how epic it looks. And this, it looks like this light is shining really, really bright. So if I play it back, this is the end result of the automatic motion tracking feature. This looks so neat. Are you guys ready for this? Because this is just mind blowing and this is what we've come to create. As you can see guys, the difference between this 
and this is just amazing by just doing the automatic masking as you can see it just goes so smoothly and it looks like this car has a really bright light and that is how to use the automatic motion tracking and like I've showed you guys in the intro um, I just ha also have this part right here I'm just gonna lower the audio I'm gonna just do that for the same thing so I'm gonna cut where my hand is right there so I'm gonna cut it right here and then if I'm gonna move my hand like that I'm gonna go ahead and do it like that so it works exactly the same go to the video effects tab you want to pick Beezer masking pick the default one drag it on top of the top one lower the opacity for for now and then you want to go ahead and just basically simply pick the mask or the shape of the object I'm gonna put that one on my hand like this and then I'm going to click on mask and I'm going to click on tracking. I'm gonna click on start. As you can see, it is creating keyframes right now. And once that is finished, we can just simply add a blur on it and then it will automatically follow the hand. I think this is my new favorite feature on Vegas Pro 16 because, because this feature is gonna come in so handy. So if I go ahead and do it like that, as you can see, your hand is maxed out. The only thing we need to do now is hire the opacity again, go to the video effects tab, click on Gaussian blur, pick the light blur, drag it on top of the top one. And if I play it back, as you can see, it is just now really smoothly following my hand. And that is it guys. This is how you use the automatic motion tracking feature in Vegas Pro 16. And it's just that mind blowing, as you can see also, if I play back the car one more time, because this looks so so freaking cool and that is basically how to do it do you guys see that can right there I just want to take a little sip of it so I'm gonna go out of the screen and I'm gonna take a little sip and now I'm going to place the can back where it was right there i am basically editing the video that you're watching and i'm gonna first show you what you need to do in order to create this amazing effect so before we're gonna actually start editing this you know entire clip we need to shoot it first so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go downstairs and i'm gonna show you guys exactly how to recreate this effect so as you can see this is basically my current setup for this video. So what I did is I just set the tripod down right here. So if I place the camera on it, this is basically the angle that you guys saw. So what you need to do is very simple. Set down your camera like this. Then you want to go ahead and sit right here and you want to take a green, you know, fabric or a cloth or anything like that. And you want to create this kind of effect. So it's right here, it's flat and then it goes down and then flat again. So you want to have that that kind of shape you're gonna reach over it and it's gonna look that your arm is coming out of the screen so you want to pick up this can take it on the other side and then you want to do is you know do whatever you want now you want to t you know put it back and it looks that your hand is basically going out of the screen with this effect so that's what you need to do and that's what I did as well and once you have done that you want to go to your computer and right now we're gonna go back upstairs you know in Vegas Pro but I just wanted to show you guys how I all did it you know with the studio lights and you know showing you guys how I did it and how I pulled it off this is how it looks at the back that is how you want to basically go ahead and do it so right now we have done everything and right now we're gonna go back to Vegas Okay guys, so now that we are in our editing software, there are basically two things that we need. First, the green screen clip, obviously, and then second of all, we need a video of ourselves just recording any screen that you have. So we're gonna go ahead and drag in those two clips. Okay, those are both clips, just a recording of my screen, as you can see where I'm gonna come out. And this is obviously the recording of us sitting back on the green screen. So what we're gonna do, first of all, is to spice this footage up a little bit, is we're gonna go to video effects brightness and contrast drag the videos template on it or in other words you guys don't have this template because I made this myself so only just bring up the contrast just a little so once we've done that we're gonna go ahead and create a new video track right click insert video track and we're gonna put this guy on top of it then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the very beginning and we're gonna lower the opacity just a little because we need to shrink the video down until it fits in the monitor right here. So we're gonna go to the track motion icon of the green screen part. We're gonna uh, shrink this guy down until I would say 
Let's see where it would fit. I think I'm gonna also tilt it just a little bit because it, so it looks very straight like that this one looks very very nice so the second thing we need to do is we need to mask off all the access footage so we're going to click on the event pan crop icon of the green screen we are going to click on mask at the very bottom which is right here mask then we want to pick this guy uh, the rectangle or square mask creation tool drag this guy over it over the entire video then the cropping begins we're gonna put our mouse right here and then we're gonna just crop this guy until it looks like it's on the monitor like that so as you can see we're gonna also do that for the other side like this and now it is looking like it's played back on the monitor so once we've done that we just want to go ahead and close this out again and then we need to go ahead and remove this green so we're gonna go to the video effects tab click on chroma key, pick the default, drag it on top of the green screen clip, and then we want to uncheck chroma key for a second. Then we're gonna click on this blue line, or blue box, how you wanna call it, pick this pencil icon, click on a nice green part, I would say like that, click on it again, you wanna just check it again, the chroma key, then you want to bring down the high threshold until it looks very nice. Then you want to bring up the low threshold to, you know, remove all the blue like that or the purple like this. So once we've done that, this is what it looks like. What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video and it is Wednesday. So I have a very awesome tutorial for you guys with a very, very cool effect. And do you guys see that can right there? I just want to take a little sip of it. So I'm going to go out of the screen. And I'm going to take a little sip. And now I'm going to place the can back where it was right there. So guys, if you want to know how to create this amazing effect. So guys, that's how to do it. It is very, very simple. Just drag in the footage, crop it down until it looks like it is on the screen. Just resize it, remove the green part, and then it actually looks like your arm is going out of the monitor. It is that simple and that mind blowing as well. I'm so proud of this tutorial because I have never done anything like this on the channel before. If you guys guys want to see more of those tutorials make sure to just subscribe down below and enable the notifications so you will get a uh, notification obviously when I'm uploading a brand new video so that's it guys I want to thank you for watching thank you for the continuous support that's it guys thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys in my next video <laughs>